My Feudal Lord by Tamina Durrani is a harrowing and eye-opening memoir that provides a vivid glimpse into the deeply entrenched feudal and patriarchal systems of Pakistan. Through her personal narrative, Durrani sheds light on the injustices and abuse suffered by countless women in such a society. This analysis explores the themes, characters, and narrative techniques employed in the book, highlighting its significance in the broader context of women's rights and social change in Pakistan. The central theme of My Feudal Lord is the subjugation and mistreatment of women in a feudal and patriarchal society. Durrani's story is a poignant account of her tumultuous marriage to Ghulam Mustafa Kar, a powerful feudal lord and politician. She exposes the harsh realities of her life as his wife, revealing a toxic and abusive relationship characterized by physical violence, emotional manipulation, and sexual exploitation. Durrani's willingness to share these deeply personal and painful experiences serves as a powerful indictment of the prevailing social norms that permit such abuse to persist. Durrani's narrative also delves into the broader issue of feudalism in Pakistan. Her husband, Kar, represents the feudal elite who wield immense power and control over vast swaths of land and the people who work it. This system of feudalism is portrayed as oppressive and exploitative, with the feudal lords enjoying privileges and immunity from the law while their tenants and workers suffer in poverty and servitude. Durrani's decision to marry into this world exposes the stark contrast between her privileged upbringing and the grim reality faced by the common people, highlighting the vast disparities in wealth and influence that persist in Pakistan. Throughout the memoir, Durrani portrays herself as a complex and conflicted character. She is both a victim and a survivor, someone who initially succumbs to the pressures of society and her family's expectations but later finds the courage to resist and speak out against her oppressors. Her evolution from a naive and sheltered young woman to a determined advocate for women's rights is a central narrative arc in the book. Durrani's journey resonates with readers, serving as a testament to the strength of the human spirit and the capacity for personal growth and empowerment. One of the most compelling aspects of My Feudal Lord is Durrani's use of vivid and evocative language. She paints a vivid picture of her surroundings, describing the opulent lifestyles of the feudal lords and the stark poverty endured by their tenants. Her prose is imbued with a sense of urgency and raw emotion, drawing readers into her world and allowing them to feel the pain, fear, and despair she experienced. This narrative style not only makes the book engaging and immersive but also underscores the authenticity of her account. The memoir is also notable for its unflinching portrayal of the abuse suffered by Durrani at the hands of her husband. She does not shy away from describing the physical violence, emotional torment, and sexual coercion she endured. This candidness is both shocking and essential, as it forces readers to confront the harsh realities of domestic violence and the ways in which it is enabled and perpetuated by societal norms. Durrani's courage in sharing these painful details is a testament to her commitment to raising awareness about the issue and seeking justice for herself and other survivors. My Feudal Lord is not just a personal narrative, it is also a call to action. Durrani uses her story to shed light on the broader issue of women's rights in Pakistan. She exposes the complicity of the legal system, the media, and even her own family in perpetuating the culture of silence and victim-blaming that allows abuse to go unchecked. By speaking out and seeking divorce from her abusive husband, Durrani challenges the status quo and becomes a symbol of resilience and defiance for other women trapped in similar situations. In conclusion, My Feudal Lord by Tamina Durrani is a powerful and gut-wrenching memoir that exposes the dark underbelly of Pakistani society, where feudalism and patriarchy intersect to perpetuate the oppression of women. 
Through her unflinching honesty and evocative storytelling, Durrani offers readers a window into her world of abuse, fear, and ultimately, empowerment. Her narrative serves as a rallying cry for women's rights, urging society to confront its complicity in enabling such atrocities. In a country where women's voices are often silenced, Durrani's memoir stands as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the need for social change. It is a sobering reminder that the fight for gender equality and justice is far from over, and that the power to effect change lies in the hands of those who dare to speak out against injustice.